long time. Uh, Brad from Riding Shotgun Adventures. Mackenzie's behind the camera. Say hi, Mackenzie. Hi. Uh, it's been a long time since we've shown anybody what we're up to. Um, basically, last time we were out, uh, where did we go last? Oh my God. Bund uh, no, we were at Woodward. Oh yeah, yeah. We we went to Woodward Cruise with the with the uh, the B two and and then shortly after that. Uh, we decided that it was time to start tearing apart for our next big upgrade, which is going to be a complete powertrain change. We had a 347 back in the corner, and uh, behind the bench, hidden, is a C4 with a reverse manual valve body. There's the shifter that goes with it. And just imagine there's an Atlas transfer case here, too, that hasn't shown up yet. I ordered that back in April. and. Hopefully sometime this month I'm going to get it. But, so 347 C4, 4.3 Atlas is what's going in it. And uh, Dan and I, you know, he's working on Sarge 2.0. He's four link in the rear and did a three link in the front on his Explorer. And I decided that uh, I wanted more flex. So it's time to, uh, we're going to do a four link on the rear of this. Move the axle back as far as I can without having to relocate the fuel tank. So I might get another two, three inches back, but the, the idea is I'm gonna get way more flex by doing that. We're gonna try to do King 14 inch and yeah, we're gonna try to do 14s in the front and I think 14s in the rear too, I can't remember. Anyways, some combination of Kings. We got the interior completely gutted. Um, Right now I got a couple of hydraulic jack stands in there to uh, fix an oil canning issue I had in the roof. It, the uh, the crossbars weren't mating with the uh, sheet metal and going down the highway it would uh, it oil can terribly. Um, I'm going to be sealing the whole floor and putting sound deadening on before I put this thing back together. Uh, I don't know what else have we got here. I've got the uh, a blue top ported for hydro assist. We're going to put hydro assist on this too. I've got a high steer arm kit. I didn't bring the arms out. I'm adding a truss to the Dana 44 in the front. And uh, my buddy John Christian is going to help me with that. And welding up my axle tubes. I'm also taking the Grizzly locker out of the front. And putting a Grizzly... I'm sorry, a Yukon air locker, zip locker in the front. Should make it a whole lot better trailing. That way uh, I don't have to have the front locked when I'm turning if I don't need to. And then boxes of parts for doing the four link. I'm doing, even though I put new body mounts on and I had two inch body lift, I'm taking the two inch body lift off. We're putting a one inch on. I'm redoing the body mounts because the two inch bounce were cutting into it and Kind of pissed me off. <laughs> and we have our brand new kitten in the background who's <laughs> dying to come outside and is uh, totally stealing the show by crying back there. What are you doing, Tippy? Uh, but that's kind of give you an update what we got going on here. Um, it's been really crazy this year with everything that we've, what we've done to it already and what we're planning on doing. Um, like I said, the interior's torn down. I've got the engine trans transfer case all out. We're going to be cutting out the cross member for the engine and fabbing up a new one to give a little bit more room for the uh, up travel. And then the front's going to get uh, it's going to get uh, hoops for the coilovers. That's uh kind of what's going on in our uh, neck of the woods here you know we've got the uh, AC heater case removed so we put a manual or just a heater heater only case in and we modified the corner there for where the valve cover on the passenger side kind of tucks in we cut the trans tunnel hem flange and hammered that back and resealed seam sealed that yeah, that's about it Yep, Atlas should be sometime this month, hopefully. We're, we're kind of uh, waiting for 
in between helping Dan over at the barn with his stuff and uh, once he's got his where his can be a roller then we're gonna trailer this over there and and get the four link done get the front hoops in set the powertrain in do whatever cross members we need to do we plan on having it done by January to go to Snowway but uh, you know that yet you know we'll see <laughs> I, I we have high hopes yeah we have high hopes there, there shouldn't be any reason I mean I got basically everything I need the engines already built I got everything um, it's just a matter of the suspension upgrades that uh, didn't really plan on doing that until just recently and I think it only makes sense because I this thing is just good I love it's gonna be fun be a beast it's gonna be well, a beast so I'm just trying to get all the uh, little little stuff done before we take it over to the bastion barn and so everything will be a lot quicker over there do what we got to do and then tow it back here and finish doing the electrical and get it fired up here. Okay. So we will try to make some videos as we progress, uh, as we make progress and, uh, you know, keep on watching. So, hey, happy Labor Day from uh, riding shotgun because we're laboring away over here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Have a good one, everybody. Yep. Take care. See you on the next one.